When we think of progress, we think of time. That time is always moving, time is always passing. Even as we're here now, time is progressing. I have the memories of the place that I grew up in. I have to constantly reevaluate what it means for me to be here and how I see Singapore as it was in the past, and then how it is now, and how I will see it in the future. So it's, it's a constant process because it's constantly changing. We were primarily inspired by the architecture of the space and also what happens um, in the library. The piece takes you on a journey through a kind of progression of how we see this interaction between these hands and eyes. When we first kind of came into this space, we very much kind of storyboarded a, a composition which would fit within the dome and kind of the oculus as, as a whole. We used a green screen technique to kind of record both Faye and Shah, the two performers, and this was then kind of composed in post-production and mapped onto the dome space. In this time, it's very interesting how the eyes and the hands take on different meaning where we can't really touch as we used to contact each other. And the eyes would start to smile instead of, you know, behind the face of the mask. Rerooting as an art piece explores the recovery as well as the reforming of memories of a place. Rerooting also refers to the root of audio and visual. The root of an image, a digital image, is the pixel. And that's why I use the visual language of the pixelscape to cover the facade of National Gallery. My collaborator, W.Y. Huang, he also took the concept of this particles and tried to incorporate this texture in the audio. So I used machine learning to learn data sets from uh, the permanent exhibit in the National Gallery, which represents sort of like the past. And then I took a data set also from pictures of landscape of Singapore. And then I had the machine learning algorithms learn these two data sets and then produce new images which are totally never before seen. And then I would transform these new visuals into pixelscapes. I wanted visitors to kind of sit with the peas and feel the movements kind of like a meditative exercise, something that makes them contemplate being on the Padang, and being with friends or family, or just there alone. The way I've been thinking about progress is that when we can get closer in our art making, being in the same space, if we're able to continue communicating and expressing ourselves, that's progress.